What's going on everybody? It's Wade with Swamp Donkey Archery. Got a new build for you today. I think this one's going to wind up being pretty cool. Uh, this is probably going to take place over a few days. There's a lot of work that I'm going to do to this rig, but I want to try to take y'all through uh, what I'm actually going to do to this bow. But to give you a little teaser, uh, hopefully y'all can see this right here. Oh, what's that? Fishing arrows and a fishing bow? Are we fixing to build a bow fishing bow with some bloodline glow? I think it's gonna happen. Y'all stick around. So I got this goofy little contraption right here that I'm fixing to try out. This is made to where you snap the phone in right here. And this goes around your neck, kind of like a doctor's stethoscope. And the camera rides right under your neck so you can kind of get a first person view of what's going on. So I'm fixing to try to do uh, most of this video with this to kind of see, uh, see how it works out. And uh, if y'all like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, uh, you can't give a thumbs down on YouTube, can you? can you just hit me in the comments down there so anyhow let's do this okay this new build check this old school out man what y'all know about the engraved deer head in that right there so this was a good buddy of mine's we went through uh through some instrumentation school together me and him and buddies a long time he brought this bow over here the other day wanted me to redo it for him so this is an old PSE, was it a PSE accelerator? So we are fixing to take this thing, and we are going to make her work better than new. All right. So the first thing we're going to do with this old rig here is we're going to pull a Luke Bryan. We're going to strip it down, strip it down. Yeah, I bet y'all like that, didn't you? Y'all didn't know you seen country music back in the day, did you? No, I only sung my country music in my T-top Camaro when I had my mullet flowing. And that's facts there. Y'all can uh, fact check that. If I can find somewhere to put this thing in here. Here we go. I'm telling y'all, if y'all ain't got one of these Baker Archery product bow vices right here, y'all need to give Butch a shout and get you one of these. So we're going to take his reel, let me get up here where you can see it, take this reel off of here, we're going to take his little rest off, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take his little stabilizer right here off, and we're going to wind up stripping this thing totally down, I'm going to pull limbs off, I'm going to pull cams off, we're going to soak this stuff, soak all these in some water, and uh, soapy water, kind of get everything cleaned up, paint what needs to be paint, this is going to be a totally new bow when we're done. This old fishing reel off here. See if I can get ah, right, there we go. Sorry, I'm still having to try to get used to having a phone under my chin. But I think this might wind up making a pretty cool video. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I may like it, I may not. Alright. So there's that. I think his little rest on here be all right. It just screws in here. We'll just clean that up. We're gonna take this off. I don't even know what that is. Greg, will you tell me exactly what that's supposed to be used for? You kind of got me curious. <laughs> all right. Get this off of here. 
Ooh, look at all that dust flying off. That's when y'all know something been sitting up for a little while. Okay, so this is off. Next step. So a little while back, I made me one of these little sheets like this. So whenever I was taking measurements, especially for some string specs that uh, I may not already have the specs, I can pull this off and I can measure it and get all my measurements and serving uh, links and everything and have it all wrote down nice and neat here in front of me. If I need to make any other notes, I just put it on here. So we were on 33 inches axle to axle and we were seven and a half on brace height. Now we'll put this in the press, presser. We're gonna get strings off and uh, get measurements on the string. Then I'm gonna start just, sorry about that. Start totally disassembling this. All right, disassembly is happening. So we're gonna put this in the press. And like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this off and leave out. Usually, what I do is I'll pull them off and uh, measure them and put them back on. But this, I'm gonna, you know, take the bow all the way apart. And hopefully I can remember how to put this back on. <laughs> all right, so there's that. So here's the string. And I'll make a note that the string was landed on number one. Told you this thing comes in handy. String tab one. All right, so there's the string. We're gonna measure this in a second. And then here is the cable. There's only one spot for the cable to go, so that'll be easy to remember. And we'll take this off. We'll get these measured and then we're gonna disassemble all this. Ooh, that's a long string. And we are in, after you pull that out, inch, right at 88 inches. All right, we got our numbers here. Now, I'm gonna take this bow out of the press and we're going to disassemble it. So whenever you do take the strings and cables all the way off the bow, you have to be real careful when you're letting the uh, tension off. Make sure you hold on to the bow. You don't want it to jump out up or down. It's easy, to, easy for it to pop out. So I have personally been in the boat with my buddy back in the day bow fishing with this old bow we had some we had some good times this old bow been around since i know since the early 2000s because that's when me and him was hanging out so we're going to ease this out of here and make sure we don't lose this little limb pivot right here this is a major component if you don't have this in right here and that limb sits directly on that it will split that limb in a heartbeat so i'm gonna find me a little box in a minute and we're gonna put all those parts in a box so i know this piece will come off i'm gonna leave might leave that piece in there but we're gonna take this little pivot off right here do the same thing to the top and bottom limb now this whole thing's gonna be all rusted up in places because that's what happens with a bow fishing bow. It gets wet. It gets fish scales all over it. It gets fish slime. It gets dropped in the water. It gets dropped in the bottom of the boat because you just had an alligator about jump in the boat. Yup. All right. So I've got this stripped down as far as I'm going to strip it today. Uh, I'm probably going to, on some of these little uh, pins that go through, I may spray a little bit of crawl or something on those, see if I can get them to come out. But on doing an old rig like this, it's kind of hard to get stuff for. The key to a good rebuild 
is being able to get it fixed but being able to get it all the way fixed and not uh, having some stuff break on it that you can't repair so that's all I'm going to do to the riser we're going to take these little uh, c-clips out pull the axle out keep up with the amount of shims in here and then uh, put all this in a bag or in a box and then get this soaked. Now I did the tip to anybody that does this, mark your limbs, make sure you keep up with which the top and the bottom. Some, some of them are kind of obvious, but uh, some of them might not be, so mark your limbs. All right, we got Mr. Greg's little box here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw all these other little parts in here before they get knocked off on the floor. And and we're going to see about prying this off without losing this little E-clip, C-clip. Some of y'all call them E-clips, some call them C-clips. Me, it just depends on what mood I'm in. Usually it's that dead gum clip that I just lost. It's usually what it is. All right. There's that. Oh, this one. No, I thought it had two. That's just the old bushing right here. Let's see if we can get that off. All right. Now, that's going to be kind of rusted up. So we're going to put a little bit of crawl or something on it and just gently coerce this out all right the bottom cam is frozen pretty good there so i'm gonna let it soak with some uh hang on, i can't even take it off with that i'm gonna let it soak with like some crawl overnight see if we can uh, free up that axle where it goes through the limb. I don't. Last thing I want to do is is break this thing. For something to do is break the uh, break the limb itself. That wouldn't be good. So we're gonna try a top limb. We may have to let it kind of do the same thing. Oh no, it come out. That's good. So we're just pushing pushing this little pin out the bottom here and try to keep from losing any of these bushings or any of the shims I mean while I'm pulling it out so I'm gonna take that there be careful pulling that and fill out just like that we still got a couple on the limb there we go now we got all that in there one more there one more here there we go that is the top limb now well, look there's still one hiding in there so like i said we're gonna let this bad boy sit you can see the rust build up in there that rust may uh permanently glued this in there so i'm gonna let it sit come back tomorrow and try to get that out if i can't get it out it's, it'll be all right i'm just going to do what i can to get some uh get a little bit of grease you can see that little hole right there going in the shaft see if i can get some lithium grease in there get back under this cam and then just soak what i can on the cam and get all this old stuff off so yep till tomorrow all right so this is where we're at now like i said we got everything all disassembled the other day uh i was able to get the uh axles out of both of these limbs it was this one right here it was all rusted up just soaked it in some uh in some crawl and i also we also got these strings built these are the glow in the dark strings and they are freaking awesome. So now we're just gonna do the good old cleanup using a little bit of soapy water and old toothbrush. 
we're just going to hit some of these rougher places kind of get her cleaned up some some of these screws I wasn't able to get out some of them it just wasn't feasible for me to get them out I didn't want to take the risk of messing something up and not being well, not being able to get it fixed so now all we're gonna do we're just gonna take this soapy water we're just gonna clean this old girl up a little bit we're gonna clean the riser we're gonna clean the cams, limb pockets and all that, then we're gonna reassemble. And this is just a regular old mixture of soap and water. I think it's some Dawn dishwashing detergent or something. You know that Dawn, some good stuff. All right, we got her all cleaned up now. Now it's time to start reassembling this. Now, as I stated earlier, I was made sure to mark the uh, limbs, top and bottom limbs. So we're gonna get this put back together. I'm gonna put the cam and the wheel on first and get all my bushings and everything right. And then we'll put the limbs back on the bow. So I like to put a little bit of this lithium grease on these axles and stuff on the axles and then on the uh, any pivot point or anything like that and this in here and then I'm going to put a couple of these shims and then the cam washer's kind of out the way and that sits down in between the little bushings just like that yep just like that and then we get the bottom one on there making sure that these little rubber grommets or whatever on the side kind of centers the limb and then the little uh, limb pivot lands in the hole on the bottom. And just go ahead and snug that down and kind of get everything in place. And there she goes. 
are starting to uh, come back together. Now I get to see if I can remember how the string goes on here. Let's see. That. And this goes this way. And we had it on A. And then this goes this way. Over. Oh. Over the wheel. Back down. Two. All right. Got the bow back together. I even got his little finger cushions on here. And we should pull this off. I'll make sure that it draws back. And then we're going to put the reel back on it. And then this thing's going to be done. Then I'm going to have to wait until it gets dark so I can show y'all this cool glow material here. So, yeah. I think that's gonna work. I'm getting this bottle back on here. I think this bottle seen seen its better days, all this tape on it. But uh I'm telling you, this old bow right here had been had been through the ringer. I know I've been on a couple of trips with him and I love my old boy, but uh he can be a little rough on equipment. But that's alright though, that's alright. I like seeing equipment that gets used. That way I know people that have my stuff actually going to appreciate it. Alright. There's that. It's looking like a bow fishing rig now. What y'all think? Mm-hmm. Alright. So, a moment of truth. Got her all back together. Now... I ain't gonna shoot his fishing arrow through there because he got some big bad uh, fishing tips on there, bow fishing tips on there, and I don't wanna tear my target up. So, we're gonna shoot just a regular old arrow through there. Just see what this old bad boy's gonna do. Oh, old school. Now it makes a lot of racket cause of this rattling right here. So don't expect that to sound like a uh, sound like old compound, you know. Making all that racket cause of that. Yes, sir. That's gonna be a fish killing machine right there. Bye Now. I just gotta wait till it gets dark outside. And then y'all gonna see the glow. So I forgot to put his uh, wrist strap back on it. And let's not forget this stabilizer. Greg, what is this? All right, now's time for the moment of truth. Is this bad boy right here these strings are they really gonna glow in the dark let's find out I'd say so check that out now, this ain't focusing on them really good on a video but I'm gonna take a picture and I'm gonna post a picture in this video to show you what they really look like. So there it is. Yes. It's bloodline uh, glow material. <laughs> really does glow in the dark. I hate that I couldn't get it to uh, get the real look of it in the video. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to have to post, post some pictures in there let you see it. But, man, that is super cool. I'm really happy how this turned out. And I'm pretty sure my buddy's going to be really satisfied with it, too. So, now, that being said, 
Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all hit me up on all my social media platforms. And uh, as always, y'all have a good one.